Alright, just got her home. 2005 Astro all-wheel drive. Super clean. It's got the white lettering. Yeah, we're done with the marker and whatnot. Got some custom work on the gas door. Coming in on the driver's side here. Very clean, very clean. You can tell he took very good care. All the previous owners would have had to to have to be in this good condition. I'm gonna do a lot of work to this thing. Look at all the extras it came with. Paint markers to do up the tires more there. These are the center caps for the original rims. He's got a remote start for it, some brake pad, big plans. So excited. Been looking for one of these pretty much since I bought my last van from Montana. Waited for an all-wheel drive one to come up. That was in good shape. Basically had one look under it and was like, okay, yep. Pay the man his money. I don't know how I feel about the rims and whatnot, but uh, it came with the stock ones. Came with a bunch of stuff actually. So we got stock wheels. Doors have been replaced, rotted out like most of them do. I've got the old doors. The suits tore out of it. People aren't lying when they say those things are heavy. Tore the sub out of it. And now I actually say I've had a Sony Explode amp. I think that's like a rite of passage for car audio people. Never had one. I was more of an Alpine guy myself, but uh, teach his own. So, got that all ripped out. Got this wiring here. I like how the coax is taped right to the power wire and the signal. Might explain some of the interference. First things first. But it's something related to all this uh, car audio. That speaker's clipping. And it gets worse if you stab the gas. So that's interesting. Gonna have to fix that first, because that's pretty annoying. Under dash lighting. I don't know, I might actually leave that. I kind of like it. The Sony head unit though. I can probably swap that out for a Kenny. Came with all the mats. I don't think that brown one's an original, but they all say GM on them, so they're all probably from a GM van. The goodies. Wheel spacers, front coil spring spacers. He bought brake pads because he heard a squeal once. Remote start ready to go in. These are the um, center caps for the stock wheels. Whole big old bag of lug nuts. He's got uh, mismatched lug nuts on it now. He's gonna put like light up Tron type dealy so you look like Tron on there. That's not what you want to see in a used vehicle. 24 hour towing. Oh, obligatory lighter. Not one but two. Both work. I already tested them. left-handed apologize yeah nice steering wheel cover I got the rosary hanging from the dangling from the mirror there not a bad rig came with a power fucking USB thing figure out lighter didn't use the ashtrays classy fellas yeah. bottom of the doors just need a little bit of a touch up if I remember Oh, not even to all that pasture size. Nice. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah. Right there. So, yeah, that needs some attention, but you catch it now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Savable. 
Did I mention I'm an Ontario Canada here? Like this thing is like mint by our standards. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Wanted one of these for a long time and they're only getting rare, unfortunately, and price here. The forums are touting them as the next VW Westphalia. The all-wheel drive ones anyway, you know. That's a little bit more sought after. I took a long break from making videos, just wanted to focus on, you know, getting the projects done myself, just with a clear mind. But cell phone cameras have gotten so amazing these days, you basically have no excuse. So might as well crack out the camera and get a few minutes of footage, throw it out for the world, why not? Alright, cheers. Have a good one.